Hello. Queen Queen here. Live after the money. Do you like my new fleecy, fleecy, fleecy thing? It's not really new. I've had it a while. Um, a kind reader sent it to me. A blog reader sent it to me. So I've got it out again now because it's cold and this is lovely. <laughs> it um, goes all the way down to my ankles. Do you want to twirl? <laughs> so I'm staying warm in the winter. The sun's out but um, it's always a little bit coolish inside the house. So this is this is what I do. I dress up with layers um, and try not to put the heating on. I can afford to pay for heating, but um, I don't feel comfortable having the heating on all the time because I, I like to have fresh air <laughs> around me. So I I layer up even in the house. I layer up. I've got three pairs of socks on. So let's have a little chat. I've got no coffee because um, it's coming up to lunch time and I've got a nice big pan of stew to eat today which I made yesterday. So I won't have a coffee now. It is ten past twelve. So let's have a little chat. How are we getting on? How's everybody getting on? Uh, I'll just show you what I'm doing for my um, on the table craft table project at the moment. So I'm making rope out of strips of fabric. I was given strips of fabric and uh, I've got some white strips and some pink strips and I'm making rope with that. So basically it's all about twisting it together. So I've made quite a bit of it so what I've done is I've started to coil it like that. Now I'm going to need to carry on twisting more and more and I've got more of this, this cotton fabric. Um, so I shall carry on with that and it will end up as a bowl. Now that's the previous bowl that I've made and I want to make a bigger one than that. This has actually got rope uh, inside it. So this is rope covered with fabric and then wool to hold it all together. Um, so there's no rope in this one that I'm doing. So this is just the fabric made into rope. So there you are. That's where we're at so far. So I'll just keep doing that. I like to have a project on the table that I can just sit down to for an hour in the morning um, while I'm drinking my coffee and uh, there we go making bowls out of rope fabric rope anyway I've been thinking about this this hand washing lock now we're all washing hands all the time I always have washed my hands a lot and when you go out into the outside world and you come back again the first thing I do is wash my hands anyway. I always have done because you're out touching different things. Um, I am now starting to carry a, a little sort of squirty thing with the... Um, but I only use that if I'm touched like a shopping trolley, that kind of thing, or open doors. But um, I don't think we really need to, well I don't really need to use that a lot because I only go shopping out and back to a shop. But um, anyway, so washing hands. I mean, it can get quite expensive with buying the um, antibacterial hand wash. So I don't do that anymore. I think I might have brought a couple in my lifetime proper anti-backs but what I've done is I've saved these two containers the pump up things so one for the kitchen one for the bathroom and what I do now is refill them 
but I, I refill them with anything that's sort of soapy. So I've, I have some shower cream there. So what I do is, when it's getting low like that, I put some of that in and I top it up with water. So obviously it's quite, you can see there how it's, that is very watery. It's not thick liquid. You don't need actually thick liquid. So I dilute and it comes out quite easily. And so I use that shower thingy and anything really. Shampoo. This is quite cheap shampoo from Aldi. That will do the job for washing hands. Shampoo. Or I've got a couple of these. Now when I colour my hair you get um, the conditioner um, to put on after you've done the colour bit. But I never usually use it all up. So that can be used, diluted, in the pump up thing. So you can use all, all your bits up. Um, and obviously swish these out with water to get every last drop out of it and then put it into there and that lasts absolutely ages but what I do when I wash my hands is I don't turn the tap on first I get this first I won't do it now because I'm not at the sink I get this first pump it into my dry hand couple of pumps and then I rub 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 all the way thoroughly all over and that just gets it started and then I turn the tap on add a little bit more water and then rub a bit longer a bit more uh, until it's really clean and then I rinse off under the tap that way it lasts a lot longer and it will save quite a lot of money actually so that's that's what I do for the hand washing. Um, now I do need to use hand cream, and I don't mind any old cheap hand cream to be honest. But some of it is very thick, and it just lays on the surface, and it makes your hands feel all greasy. And then you think, well, how I can't touch things now. I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't do this if I've got a, a greasy gunge on my fingers. But what I've done is found this hand cream, which is an oldie hand cream, and it's 69 pence. And it's, uh, can you see that, Mother? <laughs> it's 69p, and it's Q10 Renew hand cream. It's supposed to be anti age with UV filters anti-age. I think my hands are aging anyway. There is nothing I can do now to stop my hands aging. So I just take these these things with a pinch of salt because I just it's just a, a selling feature you know. So you might think oh, I'll get that because then I'll stay young longer. No you don't stay young longer. But anyway, it's got pro-vitamin B5, vitamin E, and something else and something else. But it's quite nice, this one. It's quite free-flowing. So only just a little spot like that. And this is going to last ages. So I also always rub it on the back of my hands first, like that, and across like that and go like that. How to put hand cream on your hands. <laughs> this is what I do. Um, I'm not really that fussed about getting it on the palm of my hands, but I do get a little bit of soreness just on the knuckle side of things there, on the, the backs of my hands. So I'm just rubbing all that in like that, and I can feel now that it's actually sunk in. It's not going to stay sticky on the surface. So, and it's, it smells quite nice as well. So now, doing it that way, I can now get on with this. 
because my hands are not sticky. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a little tip for you about watering down any soap things that you've got. It doesn't have to be anti-back because it's the soap and the washing and the time you take washing that kills germs. You know, so don't think you've got to get something with the anti-back label on every time because this does the cleaning job just as well with you you put your shampoo in cheap shampoo in you put your shower gel in and it, that's that's not really a cheap one it's not too expensive but but anything like that use all, all your bits in your hand wash bottles and give that a try you know it's not an advert for oldie <laughs> although that really is the only shop I'm going in at the moment um, but uh, this works really really well for me so what's what's for the rest of the day um, I'm now going to get a lunch with my uh, homemade stew and a vegetable stew so it's 20 past 12 I'll eat that and it's sunny so I I have to go out I have to go for a walk across the fields you know. uh, in the mud put a jacket on put the hood up but go out this is what I have to do um, so we'll catch up another time my days are quite simple they go from arts and crafts on the table outside when it's sunny the garden doesn't really need much doing to it at the moment because it's all stopped growing uh, I do a bit of trimming up here and there um, bit of help on the computer over there so yeah um, don't need to go shopping for a while I went um, what day are we Thursday I went nearly a week ago so it'll be like another two weeks before I go shopping again um, I have been given some fresh fruit and veg the lady that I walk the dog for so she has a veg box and she will give me her excess um, because veg boxes seem to be huge you always get loads in it this is why I've never bought a veg box because there would be far too much for me in it but the lady gets um, a veg box delivered and of course it's too much for her so I'm lucky that I get some of it <laughs> um, so that saves me um, a trip to the shop and I can stretch the time now to you know between two and three weeks before I need to go shopping anyway I'll say bye bye for now and uh, we'll meet up again another day thanks for watching and uh, life is good okay bye for now I'll just give you a quick shot of the garden there's no cats to see because they're outside but a quick have a look in the garden and we'll say bye bye catch you next time bye got my pictures up look sunny <laughs> in the garden I've got some bits of food out there for the birds and I can see that the one's just landed oh thrown away again here it comes I've got some bowls on the lawn there with water in is that bird going to get a drink yes that bird is going to get a drink and they bath in it sometimes so yes my garden is looking pretty good getting reflections off the glass there but this is me queen life after money bye